Yo, what up? Welcome to an ugly update. Who knows? Maybe the last. Serious, but I'm joking, but I'm serious. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay. So, as I already announced, you know, I've been having some health issues. So, yesterday? Two days ago? Yesterday. I actually got sent home for COVID-like symptoms at work. And I know what you're thinking, Rodney. If you have COVID-like symptoms, why are you in the backyard smoking? And the answer is, quote, great American poet Dwayne Carter, one day it's gonna kill me, bitch, cause you ain't. But, um, I digress. So first of all, some personal, some more personal news on top of that. Um, if you like the music you hear here, it's also going to be unfailable um, on iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube Music. Uh, it's been a Sad Boy Summer by your boy, Little Rodney. Uh, should be releasing in the next uh, couple days, so please go check that out. So, that said, um, let's start with a premise. So, I've been playing... League of Legends for eight, nine years, um, and in one way or another, between tournaments and competitive leagues, heat league, and all the other leagues that came out of it, I've been doing this, like this, and content creation for six years, seven years, um, and I thought to myself, I don't have this thought before, and I've kind of tried it before. I said, what if we built a team without all the bullshit? Right? You know, just a group of people who aren't dicks, who play League of Legends together, and can win. And have fun. I mean, the, the most important part, even above reminding y'all that you still can't hold me, is to enjoy playing this game. Life is short. My life is likely even shorter than yours. One, because I'm older than you. Two, because black people die quicker. And uh, metrics tell me that you're probably a white male watching this, or at least a side male. Um, that's just what YouTube tells me. So, I said, well, there's three ways you can win beyond, you know, that. But the three ways you can win are one, you have an overwhelming play that uh, basically can't be denied. We actually saw a team with that, um, I, forget, I think it's BD um, and James Moriarty, where, you know, you can basically, it's not that the rest of the team isn't good, but it's that there's one player who is able to take over a game. Um, this happens in basketball a lot, all right? The other way to win is, of course, to have a team where the team members complement each other so well that they're better than the collective parts separately. Um, and there's a lot of teams like that as well where you can see that the synergy between everyone is better than, um, you know, kind of how everyone plays on their own. I'd honestly say that last season or two seasons ago, I don't even fucking know anymore. Um, but when I was on CB uh, Rookies, that's kind of how that felt like, where... You know, when all five were there, the collection was better. And I understand that at times we had Psych, who was an, you know, an undeniable talent. But even after he left, when Pitiful was there, um, you know, it was the cohesion, the ability to kind of, you know, we were all playing uh, on the same wavelength or at least similar ones. It was great. And then, of course, the other one is where you build a team that, you know, gets along. And as everyone is at least competent, um, you know, and, and you kind of have that. I mean, it builds into synergy, but the synergy, you know, the macro synergy or the decision-making synergy is not, it's not the key focal point. You know, it's like a fucking friendship anime where the power of friendship overcomes the bad guys. The bad guys being, y'all motherfuckers not on my team. Well... Um, that was kind of what my goal was, you know, and uh, it didn't work out. Um, it doesn't help that we weren't able to have a stable roster week to week. Uh, we had people coming, we had people going. Um, honestly, so of the, there was like seven people I had in mind to, to, to try initially. Um, of those seven people, 
I think only three ever actually played a game for Ugly Gang, um, which were Jason, Skeleton, and Bor Bor. Um, that said, you know, Skeleton had to, you know, go to school and do whatever he's doing, you know, probably homework right now. Um, Jason didn't mesh well um, with some of the other pieces who weren't the people I initially wanted to play with or initially wanted to recruit, but we wound up playing with. And then, you know, we just kind of had a lot of adventures in people not, we're not, you know, what's the, the Frank Turner song? We fit like mittens, but not like gloves, except we didn't even fit like mittens. It was more like socks. Yeah, it was like putting socks on your hands when it's cold. If you're broke, you've been there before. Um, and so that's kind of what happened. So week to week, we were trying to find a mid laner. Honestly, we were trying to find a top laner. So we finally have the jungle, the ADC, and the support set. And we're just trying to, you know, and I'm playing top lane and, you know, and Borbor's like, you don't really seem like you want to play top lane. And it's like, it's not even that I don't want to play top lane. Um, it is not, you know, in my best of roles, but I mean, I can, and, you know, I can generally um, coin flip, not feed my face off. The issue is that I want it to get better players in and, you know, we struggle. I struggled at that. I struggled as a team owner. I mean, that's my fucking job. You know, I was hoping to get some people together. Everybody play nice. Uh, can make some funny content. And, you know, um, you know, everybody be friends and so on. And, you know, I guess I'm too old to have such idealistic goals. But here we are. So that was kind of my hope. That was my goal. And it didn't work out. Um, and so, um, you know, uh, Son of Zeus is now um, is leaving our roster. Um, Borbor basically said that while he is strong enough to lift uh, the biggest of heavy rocks, he is not strong enough to carry my weak ass, which is understandable because... Understandable. Nah, he didn't really say that. He's... Y'all you know, know. Um, I fuck with him heavy. Um, I'm just making jokes because he's big. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where we are. So um, I'm hoping to reload with people with, you know good attitudes, good mind states, and, you know, not good attitudes like you're hunky-dory all the time, no, because this shit can get frustrating, but just, you know, people who simultaneously aren't going to be dicks, aren't going to intentionally run it down, aren't going to intentionally look to spite their teammates out of spite, you know, those kind of people, people, people you enjoy, you would enjoy playing with even if you weren't playing with it just to win a league which I think is a thing that happens with a lot of teams, which is why there's so much roster turnover, is that there's people you just don't enjoy playing with motherfuckers, and you're just like, man, this feels like a job. I gotta go deal with a motherfucker I don't like to try and accomplish a goal, and then hopefully it works out, but half the time I feel like this motherfucker working against me and they on my team. And so, you know, that's kind of what I was hoping to avoid. Um, so, you know, that said, um, we're not going nowhere. We're still rolling. Uh, we're just gonna take a nap. But we'll be back. Anyway, y'all stay safe. Y'all stay healthy. Take care of each other. Um, and yeah. Later, Internet. <laughs>